Reinforced dive, dive suit. The suit is reinforced with synthetic fibers to reduce incoming physical and thermal damage. Shock and uh, shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Disclaimer, you are not invulnerable when wearing this suit. There's the, uh, the insurance coverage. The reinforced dive suit. Why take chances when you can take Altera? I mean, I fixed the radiation leak, so probably switching over to stuff like this probably makes sense. I don't think my radiation suit actually has that much continued purpose at this point, does it? Carnivores. Have I really not ever read the, about the biter yet? How? Vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, 2% brain. Uh, does it ha really, does it not have bones? I don't know if those percentages work entirely. Indiscriminate when hungry. Almost always hungry. So it just attacks anything. It's, it is not very smart. Uh, specialized olfactory antenna employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water at impressive rain. range. Secondary pair of eyes, likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral movement of large predators and hungry members of its own species. Overdeveloped tail fin. Favors outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual maneuverability. Calculations suggest that creatures up to 100 times the biter's body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. It's a lot of them at once, though. Avoid- <laughs> Assessment. Avoid packs. Try not to bleed. That's not a bad point. I've never- s uh, I've learned something new here. Worth reading these things. I didn't know they hunted in packs. I've never seen them in a pack yet. If I, if I find them in a pack, I could be in some serious danger, apparently. Individually, they're kind of stupid. This is probably where I'll find the little guy. Yeah, the rock grub. I think it's just a two-dimensional image when you see it in-game. I could be wrong, though. Def it definitely looks like a low-poly, like, perfect dark-style character model. Because it's real small. Rock grub, a small luminescent scavenger, roughly thumb-sized. This creature can be a distant relative of the sand shark. Sharing that species' unusual limbs, segmented exoskeleton, and burrowing behavior. Jaw. Its circular set of teeth is designed to tear up clumps of coral and sea grass cut on the rocks. Two. Limbs. Five legs, two arms, and a large flipper allow the rock grub to cling to and walk across rock faces in search of food and swiftly swim to safety when under attack. Three. Green luminescence. Glowing green in the dark would seem like a poor survival strategy, but this adaptation may be mating behavior or other specialized process, engaged in by only a fraction of the total population at any one time. Or perhaps being eaten is simply part of the rock grub's life cycle. Assessment harmless. Oh, that's a... If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're not cool with bugs, that's not a fun implication to hear. Oh yeah, only a tiny percent of them are glowing at any given time. There's probably tons of them all over the place elsewhere. I'm gonna save real quick. I saw myself glitch for a second there, and that sometimes means that... I think that sometimes means the glitch is gonna happen soon. I don't know, I seem to be standing still. Maybe I'm not glitching right now. You spook me, game. You spook me with that shit. I don't like thinking about my impending doom all the time. Oh. Let's plant one of those. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Alright. Back to business. Save! Those might get pretty periodic if that glitch happens more. So I want to go in that hole more or less. Cyclops feels like a bad idea. Probably won't try that. I've already emptied you out. Yep. Probably repair you. All systems online. Oh, that was it reopening. I was like, what's that sound? That's the wrong one. There we go. 
all repaired. Good to go. So I saw that vent down here, right? Yeah. Let's poke around. Take it slow. Oh yeah, and one minor change I did is I took a sample of that this time. The purple thing. So there's one of those waiting in one of my boxes right now. Don't know if it'll do anything, but it's there. So far it's just microorganisms. It's really weird. I don't know if I should feel threatened by that or what. But I do. It's a lot of rubies. Well, I've already got the number I thought I needed. Lithium. Good resource location. What's this? A creature egg. Unknown creature. Hey, a diamond. Good shit. Can I scan you or what? It's an alien vent. Alright. Store that information for now. Uh. What was that? I saw the prompt come up to scan something and I don't know where it was. Oh, that fish just went down that vent. I think it's dead now. That's just a giant quartz sample, isn't it? Look how badass it looks. I have no idea what the scannable thing is, but I lost it. Damn it. <laughs> I want to scan all the things. I like my little backpack. It's too... I'm not sure if I'll keep it, though. No, get me... No! Get, get me in the goddamn sea moth. Don't open things. I probably won't keep the backpack, unfortunately, just because of the fact that, like, I... There's other shit I need to put in that thing, because uh, all those cool upgrades are unlocked now. That's keen. We're around- we're around the height that we have to be. So far, no surprises, which is good news for me. No indication of really any surprises around here. Just the usual things. And whatever these guys are called again. The weird things that I tried to- I tried to eat one early on and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Because it turns out you maybe can't. Stocking up on rubies. Yeah, there's some pretty vital looking upgrades for the sea moth. So I don't think I'm gonna keep the backpack. Yeah. I don't like you guys. Stop it. You're not that threatening, apparently, but I don't like how you just, like, want to eat my insights. Yeah, there's two more of them. They're trying to get in. Yeah. Oh, look how many there are. I don't like it. I don't like it. Make them go away. This is a dead end. Right, that's you guys. Did I just kill that guy? I hope I did. Die. You little shit. Yeah, you guys are the clickers. Okay. Yeah, the clickers are non-threatening. It's just those weird things. That'll shoot me if I get out. That's one of those guys. Cool. There are so many bleeders over here, and I don't like it. Alright. They'll probably have to go this other way to get to Keen. That side of the chasm seems to just sort of end. The bleeders are everywhere. I super don't like it. I just don't like it. 
<laughs> Got it. <laughs> like, mosquitoes are scary for other reasons, because they have horrifying diseases and whatnot. And... Oh! We're good. Sorry. I... wandered off for a second there. There we go. My bad, Mr. Seamoth. Didn't watch that number close enough. Although I can probably craft that upgrade. Ooh. That's a new site. Uh. New biomes are scary. That's my light already being on. What are these guys? What are those guys? Uh... I think that was a warper. Pretty sure I saw a warper's projectile over there. It's so dark around here. That's definitely a warper over there. Blood vine? I don't like it here. Really? Okay. Gabe's feather. the best my light can do? Okay, why are you s you're doing horror sounds now? Alright. <sighs> Fuck you! <laughs> God damn it. I don't like how they said that either. I'm gonna leave. Because this is the wrong way, seemingly. What the f- Okay, music. Calm your fucking shit down. Ugh. I like this place better, I can see. And there's glow bulbs and they look hilarious. Oh, killed that guy. Why was it playing horror music? I don't like that. Don't do that to me. Oh, oh, hey, there he is. That poppin'. That poppin's what always scares me. Oh, there's, there's a PDA. Okay, I don't currently see indications of threats. The fuck was that? Oh, it's just one of you guys being close to a light. Okay. Jesus. Don't do this to me, man. Integrating new PDA data. A time capsule. Oh, calm down. That's just a power thing. I don't need that. Is there a way inside the capsule? The top? Ah. Stop. 
signal location uploaded to PDA. We found Keen's capsule finally. New PDA data. Things were a mess for him, but not horribly. Nothing to scan around here, right? Damn it, I was feeling brave until I found that nightmare hole. I don't like the nightmare hole. I'm not happy about that at all. What are these guys? It's so dark. <laughs> trying to be sure there's no more like blueprints around here or not missing anything 30 seconds uh oxygen Oof. welcome aboard captain okay where's my Aurora Rendezvous Point, Dry Land. That's interesting. Hi, buddy. You're just gonna swim- yep, you swam straight into me. Do I have my Cyclops turned on? I don't. Okay. <laughs> or my Seamoth, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, we're 116 from this- from the Don't Die. I think I can just go straight up and find it pretty easily from there and just hope I haven't somehow gone into a new horrible territory, because that cave did not seem like it was full of Good stuff at all. I don't need the mountain base right now. I like to keep the home direction open. Alright, let's check these audio logs, huh? <laughs> this ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Shut up. <laughs> Stop. Shut up. Don't say things. No, it doesn't. Long time, fresh food. Eating nothing but fish will make you sick. So I left you my trusty veggie knife and great food. What did you send me? Whoa. Oh, it's a lantern fruit. You gave me a lantern fruit to plant and a knife. I think it's just a survival knife, though. That's fun. I'm finding time capsules. What? Two of them in this zone. I wonder why this hole's full of them. I already have this stuff, though, as it turns out. Scan data, alien data, alien vent. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. The peepers just go, are just swimming in. And I guess they must come back out safe. Yeah, I was watching the peeper go and I'm like, what are you doing? This seems like a bad idea. Beyond scannable depth, like it's going way down there. I guess peepers can withstand incredible depth, uh, incredible pressure if they can go all the way down to the depth of how far, however far that goes. Or maybe the fact uh, that it's an enclosed system means that water pressure, to, uh, yeah, the, the overall water pressure doesn't apply probably, never mind. So, it says deoxygenated, so I'm guessing it's probably serving two purposes. One, it's probably serving as coolant for any machinery they have down there. And two, it's probably giving them oxygen so they can breathe in that facility. So whatever deep under underwater facilities they have, which we can't scan to apparently. I don't know how deep we can scan in the first place though. Uh, apparently they, they're cooling and oxygenating that area. Because they're kicking out warm, deoxygenated air, air. Commander Keen, crew log, voice log. Life pod 19, second officer Keen's crew log. To all crew, if you are reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer. Contrary to my orders. Ah, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. I wish. <laughs> if only, right? But everyone's dead. According to the computer. Maybe it can't scan everything, though? Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached. Okay, planet fallen 30 seconds. The computer 
has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Yep, he died. He died, and presumably so is Keen. Hey, it's lighting up around here. Uh, I'm not a coward. I just couldn't go any further because that's the maximum depth of my uh, my sea moth. That's what I'll blame it on, and definitely not me being terrified. <laughs> Even the game's acknowledging it, though. It's like, Seven out of nine signs that inspire death and, uh, sorry, inspire uh, terror in humans. Death. All right, I found Keen. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! The Aurora Rendezvous Point. Oh, that's the door opening. That's terrifying. It always seems like something bad's gonna happen. What is this? Is that just a whatever, I guess? Oh. 1200 in that direction. What was glowing down there? I guess it's probably just the lights that are down there. Oh wow, there's the entrance to the horrible place. It's right there. It almost looks better from out here. Like the closer you get, it gets darker. That's something different over there. I think. I think it's different from that. God, I hate that place. Hey there. Huh. It's good to be back in here. Okay. Let's have a nice buy it buy it. A nice diet of bulbo tree. Isn't that nice? Good old Bobo. Old Bobo. Bobo Bobo. There we go. Did I plant this thing in honor of our friend? Hello, friend. I just ate it. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. <laughs> that guy put it in. It's the big send-off of his playthrough, right? Like, that's how it works. He sent a time capsule to help me out in my game. I just fucking ate it. Of course. Hey, buddy. How you doing up there? God, you're really far away. You must be really close to the surface, right? Because I'm only 200 meters down. That's not a huge depth. Ah, oh, you make me nervous with this shit. So this base... No, it has a fabricator. I'm trying to think which of the things... ...that I just learned how to make, can you make in a fabricator? I guess this would tell me. The reinforced dive suit requires synthetic fibers. Fuck. Okay, how do I make synthetic fibers? I don't have a recipe for that, do I? Fiber mesh... So, ah... Right off the bat, it's a thing I don't know how to make. Right off the bat, huh? Right off the bat, huh? Hmm? Alright, well, god damn it. That was my goal, though. So we, we, got, we accomplished what I was here for. Engine powering up. 
Well, actually... Eh. Just a couple of quick things to throw into a box. I'm running out of boxes. I'm basically out of boxes. <laughs> Alright, well. That's so, so I get for trying to filter things away. Alright. I'm newly on a ship. We'll just save, like, out of habit at this point. Because the game seems to like killing me. That was really eventful. I got a lot of shit. Right, there's something right by my tail. Gotta be careful. Careful. We're gonna turn around and go back towards HQ. It's tempting to go in a straight line towards the other objective, but one, a lot of my stuff is full up, so I kind of want to offload at the base. And two, uh, that's fucking scary. <laughs> it's good to have a retreat direction if that, something goes wrong, where that retreat direction goes towards a place I've been and am familiar with. That's my strategy that I've got going on in my head. So if I'm in trouble, I want to be able to go backwards in a direction that I know is safe. And so expe uh, exploring out in a straight line from the base each time, I think is a pretty good strategy for n for having a direction to go in when something goes wrong. We're just gonna enjoy being in Seamoth territory. All right, not Seamoth. Uh, you guys, reefback territory. There we go. This should be the red zone? Yeah, red zone's nice and safe so far. Please don't prove that wrong ever, game. Draw distance is all over the place, isn't it? That reef back's super far away and it can see that one. Hey, guy. The bunny ray. We can go faster at this point. Uh, in, the, in the distance, the uh, chunks are loading. They're kind of just not loading, to be honest. They're trying. I'm not sure if I'll ever go maximum speed. It tells me I'm making excessive noise, which probably isn't that big of a deal, but it makes me worried. For obvious reasons. Hey, here's my base. This is a nice, nice deep chunk of area right here. Kind of makes sense for you to hang out over here. Engine. Engine powering down. Alright, let's get fucking busy. Alright. I guess I should grab every somewhat neat thing that is in any of these boxes and take them with me. Don't care about any of those things. Thinking more like the exotic minerals. Ah. I stock. There's the rubies, some silver. Rubies, lithium, lead, gold. Power cells that are totally charged, so we're good with those. Reginald! A l hey, I didn't notice that at first. The large filtered water. 15 ounces, so it's plus 50. It's better than the disinfected water. I wonder if I can craft one of those ever. And this is just titanium? Yep. I'm just gonna fill the rest of my inventory with titanium, because I'm probably gonna need it here. I'm going back to my base. Ah. Uh, they even knew this was the happy time place where good things happen. Because they gave us the happy time music where good, where good sound happens. Yeah, there's a bunch of more of the cool stuff in there right now. Yeah, they, they totally gave us the song that's like, this is the happy place, feel comfortable. Here's some really chill, like, I don't know, trance or house music or whatever it's called. All of the scaffoldings weren't loading, that was a sight. Oh, it's not bringing me in. There we go. We're back at the base. And I'm safe. And we're not doomed yet. And I need to make a box for my rubies. Alright, give me a moment to filter all all of these items into things. 